We're going to take a moment to look at the interaction of the dominant and auxiliary functions in each type and how the auxiliary function really provides the balance, but it is used in the service of a dominant function. The ESTP, under the dominant extroverted sensing, leads the ESTPs to quickly recognize the realities of the moment. The auxiliary introverted thinking then uses that data to arrive at expedient solutions. It is this combination that produces the resourceful troubleshooting strength for the ESTP. However, at times, they can become so involved in stimulating experiences and actions that they ignore their internal evaluating mechanism. They may even forget analysis, evaluation, and commitments in order to live in the moment. The ESFP also uses a dominant extroverted sensing to generate the stimulating and fun activities for people around them. They plunge into action with enthusiasm and energize people to work as a team. Their auxiliary introverted feeling makes them responsive to the needs to others, guides their decisions, and creates a warm and caring style within their interactions. However, at times, new people and experiences so engage ESFP's dominant extroverted sensing that they put aside their internal valuing process and ignore any other commitments. The dominant introverted sensing is used by the ISTJ and the ISFJ. The ISTJ, their auxiliary extroverted thinking, is for structure and organizes their outer life to rationalize their world along logical principles to seek closure and clarity. When change is demanded, however, they can suddenly appear unreasonable and refuse to apply their thinking logic because their dominant introverted sensing does not yet have enough data. In spite of their urge to fulfill responsibilities and organize systems, they will resist until their dominant sensing has sufficient realistic and specific information. Once convinced, however, an ISTJ can implement changes and take responsibility for them. The ISFJ expresses their extroverted feeling in a gentle and kind way towards others. They work devotedly to structure the environment to create harmony. In combination with their dominant introverted sensing, it contains more complete details about people and directs their service to others in practical channels. However, if their inner store of data includes information about how particular situations can be handled or what certain people need, ISFJs can suddenly become stubborn and reluctant to consider alternatives, insisting that they know how something should already be done. Dominant Extroverted Intuition, ENTP and an ENFP. Their dominant extroverted intuition leads the ENTPs to quickly gain insight into meanings and connections of what is going on around them. They use the logical principles of their auxiliary introverted thinking to evaluate, prioritize, and implement these insights with resourcefulness. However, they can sometimes get so entranced by a new idea that they can fail to apply their critiquing ability, which leads them to go from one exciting possibility to another without committing to or following through on any of them. An ENFP uses a dominant extroverted intuition with an unusual insight into exciting possibilities in the people and the world around them. They use their auxiliary introverted feeling to evaluate these insights in terms of their values and in combination with their intuitive enthusiasm to inspire others to implement these possibilities. At times, however, they get caught up in an intriguing new person or an idea and suspend their judgment and their priorities. They may even then overextend themselves and not give enough time and energy to the people and things which are important to them, including some of their inner commitments. Dominant introverted intuition for an INTJ. Their auxiliary extroverted thinking leads them to structure their external lives to provide a rational order, and they use their thinking to communicate these ideas logically and with great clarity. Logic is not the final judge. If someone's analysis or ideas do not fit in with the INTJ's internal intuitive pattern and insights, then their dominant introverted intuition will reject them regardless of how clear and logical they seem. The INTJs will stubbornly cling to what they already know is right. 
The auxiliary extroverted feeling for an INFJ is to focus on the values and loyalties of others. They work to structure environments to take into account the needs of others and provide ways for people to realize their goals. However, if something is proposed by others which does not fit with their inner vision, that's related to their dominant introverted intuition, they will usually reject it forcefully even when it is suggested by someone important to them and may even seem to exemplify their values. They will put great intense effort into bringing their external world into alignment with their inner vision.